Hey everybody, it's Ben. I just want to start this video out by saying happy holidays and I hope you guys have a good end of the year. I will personally be up in New York City from throughout Christmas to the new year. So I don't know if I'll be having another video come out or not. If I don't, just wanted to say happy holidays and thank you for all the support throughout this whole year. Um, about this video, it's just going to be a compilation of thrift store finds including one of my best thrift store finds ever. So it was a great way to round off the year and bring in 2020. So if I don't see you guys again, happy holidays. Let's get the video started. Here we go. Just pulled a nice color block Ralph Lauren striped shirt you can see it has some nice colorway to it nice vintage pattern these go for right around $25 mark and it is $5 I just pulled a Nike cross training windbreaker jacket you can see it right there it's a vintage one should go right around 30 bucks another little $30 piece this is a spider jacket you can see right there great logo to look for and these sell really fast especially this time of year that should clear out of my store within a week Gonna pay five bucks for it. Put a pair of Athleta women's leggings. They're the Capri ones with the uh, cross uh, cross ankle down there. And these ones tend to go right around the $25 mark for me. All right, these are always really nice to find. Another pair of Lululemon leggings. These will go right around the $30 mark in my store, and they have a nice colorway on them, nice pattern, so they should sell really fast. All right, guys, just had another really nice pull. This is a Kugi Australia Pure Wool 3D sweater. If you don't know about these, you should, because these are amazing. Minimum $60, maximum a couple hundred bucks. This one's probably more around the $100 mark, paying $7.50 for it. That is amazing. I'm having really good luck lately. this Canon Ink BCO2. There's two packages in there. If I open up this plastic packages and sell these individually, looks like they're going for about 20 bucks a piece. Just came across three really good books in the book section. They're these uh, PowerScore LSAT books. Don't really know what they are, but I scanned them on Amazon. Looks like I'll make 30 to 40 bucks over on Amazon FBA per book. So that is a really good score. Found a pair of Doc Martens. They're industrial safety toes. Um, they want five bucks for them, and they should go over 50. I didn't look up the uh, model, but I'd imagine that's what they'll go for. These ones have a little bit of green paint on them. No big deal, that'll come off really easy. Found this Tommy Hilfiger shirt right on the end cap. They tend to sell pretty well in this tartan colorway. It's a long sleeve polo shirt, and they'll go right around 20 to 25 bucks. Pretty nice pool. This is a Nike FC Barcelona woman's jersey. You can see it's brand new with the tags on it. Um, original price is right there, $90, asking 10 bucks. I think I can pull 40 or 50 out of it over on eBay, so I'm gonna snag that. It should be a really fast sale. Found this really cool pair of Evisu jeans. There's the tag on it, back label. But they've got this really nice and dragon embroidery on them. These go for right around 50 bucks, and I was able to find exact comps on this pair. We be paying eight bucks for them. Just came across these crazy jeans. They're Polo Ralph Lauren, so it's a pretty good brand. You can see right there, 10 bucks on it. They got the embroidery of the horses on the back. And, you know, they're new with tags and stuff. Typically, I don't pick up Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, but these are like in a crazy color and new with tags. I think I'm gonna grab them. This thing's pretty unique. It's a corset. It's like got the steampunk look to it with those knobs on the front. But I 
just looked it up, it's not worth too much. They're asking 25 bucks on it, and it's worth about 35 so. I just thought that was neat, I don't come across them every day. Found this pretty cool vintage Nike jacket, five bucks. It's got the uh, double stripe on the front, and the big Nike spell out on the back. That'll probably be a 25 to 30 dollar jacket. Just got them back to back. This is another Nike jacket. It's got the snap button front for the closure. Front on the back, it's got the big swoosh. Um, again, 25 to 30 bucks. Just a little bread and butter item. It's a Vineyard Vines Cooper shirt. Um, this would be 20 to 25 bucks. Pick these up all the time. Put another little bread and butter item right here. Peter Miller, Peter Millar, however you want to say it. Polo shirt. It's a golf shirt. Um, these go right around 20 bucks. Just had a really nice jersey pool. This is a Puma Arsenal jersey. So he has the Premier League patch on it. And on the back, it's got the Mustafi. Um, I don't know what the value of his jerseys are worth, but Puma Arsenal jerseys go really fast, so that's a really good score. Here we got a The North Face men's waffle flannel um, thermal shirt, however you want to call it, and these will go right around $25 to $30. Check this one out. It's a really cool Harley Davidson heavy flannel with a big old Harley Davidson spell out on the back, and we're going to end up paying $5 on that guy. Pulled another jacket. I've actually been pulling these a lot lately. Dry Joy Foot Joys. Dry joys on the sleeve. This one has the convertible sleeve, so this one will be worth a little bit more than other ones. Um, they want $750 for it, and this will be like a $35 to $40 jacket. It's had an awesome vintage pool. This is a champion Purdue Boilermakers with the big Purdue spell out on the back. That is a fire jacket, and I don't know what it's worth, but we are snagging that one for sure. Guys, I'm mildly freaking out right now. I just had to come to the back of the store to tell you guys about this, but <laughs> this find is insane. It's probably one of my best thrift store finds ever. This right here is a St. Laurent Shark Teddy Sweet Dreams jacket. I know this jacket. This jacket was like a retail phenomenon when it came out, and it sold for like $2,500 a piece. I don't know what the resale is on it, but I need to do some research, see if it's legit. <laughs> and oh my god, this is probably, this is one of my best thrift store finds ever. Okay, I've been sitting here doing some research. I'm trying to keep my voice down right now, but I think it might be legit. So I looked them up, and it looks like some of them have a patch on the front, which this one doesn't, so that was a little alarming. However, I went on the uh, YSL website and looked it up on their, um, you know, their past sales. You can see what's sold out and not. And the one on the official YSL website does not have a patch on the front. All the colors on the back match and the tag matches. So I'm going to have to do some heavy research on this. I'm going to buy it either way and take it home, but I'm paying $7.50 for this thing. I, I'm freaking out right now. This is, this is a crazy score crazy score. This is a holy grail. <laughs> that was crazy. Crazy haul. Oh my god. Alright, so we're leaving that Goodwill right now and we spent a total of $48.05 on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 items. One being that YSL jacket, that Shark Teddy jacket, and I was trying to keep my voice down in the store and everything, but I am so freaking excited right now. If that thing is real, that, I mean, that's got to be a freaking, that's that's a killer score. Um, like I said, they, they sold like brand new for like 2,500 bucks. So I don't know what the resale value is on them. I haven't looked them up in quite a while, but I know when they came out, they were hot and everybody wanted one. And to find one in a thrift store is freaking crazy. I'm a little bit skeptical. I got to do some research because some of the ones I was seeing had a patch on the front. Mine did not. However, the one on the YSL website did not have a patch on the front. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Um, I couldn't see the inside um, tags, which is why I say pretty much, but I just need to do more research. But that is potentially one of my best thrift stores scores ever since I started thrifting.
I'm I'm blown away right now. That that is crazy. But uh I was going to go to other thrift stores today. However, I think I'm just going to call it right there and head home, do some research and see if this thing is legit. I will update you guys either at the end of this video or in the next one or I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay, I just wanted to round this video out by showing you guys we were able to verify the jacket on St. Lorette's official website, YSL.com. Here it is on their official website. Big old shark patch on the back. Solid blue satin jacket on the front. And here's a close-up of the patch. Looks exactly like mine. It's identical. Um, in this thrift store, I was worried about there being a patch right here on the chest of the jacket. What it turns out to be is the men's version of this jacket has a patch on the front of it. The women's, as you can see, does not. So mine is a woman's jacket. No big deal. They both retailed for the same amount, around $2,500. So I was super happy to see this. I was able to find pictures of the tags, the inside tag, the uh, tear care tag, and everything, and verify that this jacket is authentic. So I am super happy about that. I have it listed right now on my store for $800. Um, I expect it to go for maybe a little less than that, but what an amazing find. What a way to round out 2019 on a banger score like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from me this year while I uh, start my YouTube journey, and I hope you guys stick around for some more in 2020. So until next time, happy holidays. Keep on treasure hunting, and I will see you in the new year. Peace.